Police Wednesday morning for tear gas to disperse residents of Namlanda who had gathered to have their worries over Lake Victoria degradation by Rosebud Flower Farm answered. The residents, including the Wachiso District Chairman Matia Rwangawanika, woke up to heavy deployment of the police at the district market, their planned venue. The you district just chairman just was not last even last allowed to leave his home for Look the meeting. I got some information that uh, he's mobilizing goons. We got information that uh, they were throwing money around, hiring goons from Kawempe, from Kajansi, from Webaja, that they are coming to burn the flower farm. The residents here say that the extension of the flower farm towards the lake has affected their economic survival since no more fishing activities are allowed there. Pollution is also another concern by the residents of Namlanda Zone A, which they say has reduced crop yield. There are a lot of chemicals coming from this farm. They are affecting our people. Even our water sources have been covered with soil. The district chairperson, Matia Luangabwanika, says efforts to have rosebud activities halted have yielded no fruit. It's to my surprise that police is, is moving over zealously and it's trying to, to, to deny us our rights. This, has, this was supposed to be a meeting, it was not going to be a rally, and in any case, even if it is a rally, I'm the district chairperson of this district, Wachiso. And you can imagine, the entire establishment of Wachiso district is not aware of what is going on. The company insists their activities were still within the 52 hectares of land that had been granted to them out of the 210 hectares. Nema PRO Naomi Namara says the pouring of the soil into the nearby swamp is within the 52 hectares that was authorized. Um, the condition was that they, they used technology of growing flowers in suspension. Their flowers are not actually growing in soil. They are using technology called hydroponics. And so the effort and the aim of giving um, an environment impact assessment approval to Rosebud was to balance both the economic dynamics and environment management. In 2003, NEMA halted the same flower company from operating due to violation of environmental laws only to be allowed after assessing its contribution to the country's economy. At the site, heavy trucks loaded with soil were filling the swamp under the heavy protection of the police. We could not get a comment from the farm as reporters were barred from entering and upon calling the manager, we were referred to the Kampala office whose number we were given could not go through.